Hello, my name is Nathan Bosher. I'm the Systems Administrator for ARPA Canada, and today I'm going to show you how to use EasyMail. To get started, let's head over to easy.arpacanada.ca. I'm going to take you through the four steps that we need to do in order to send our EasyMail. So let's get started. Here we're able to choose whether we'd like to sign in or continue as guest. Signing in means that we're able to skip the confirmation email step and we're able to see if our MP opens our letter and how many times. So let's sign in. As you can see, my email address is already here. Uh, you may have to enter yours uh, and log in with Facebook or Gmail before you'll be able to continue. So I'm just going to click on my name. And here on the top right, we can see that we've been logged in. Now we get to choose a letter. The letters are categorized federally and provincially, um, and each of the provincial ones has a separate province section. So if we look at British Columbia, letters for British Columbia. But we're going to choose a federal letter for today. So here you can see the different subject lines of the letters that we can send. Uh, we can preview them. There's uh, Euthanasia, Read ARPA's Policy Report. Uh, let's choose that one. Now we're shown uh, a place where we're able to find our MP. So if you know your MP's name, you can search uh, in the list here. So Chandra Ira is my MP for Nepean. And so I can add him just by clicking there. I can also look up by postal code, A2J1P3. And there he is again. And I can even look up using my location. I'm downtown Ottawa right now, so that's why I have the MP for Ottawa Center showing here. So I'm going to send it to my MP. Um, here we go. So I'm going to send it to Chandra and click Next. This is where we get to edit our letter. Uh, at the top, we can see who it's going to. First, we need to create a subject. So let's call this uh, Please Read Our. Report. And you can make that something a little more exciting than that. So here we can see who it's sending to. We can edit that if we wish. Second, we're going to make a personal introduction. So thank you, Chandra, for the work that you do in our writing. Okay, so in here we can see what's being sent. If there's anything in there we want to change, we can click. Um, so just click, and then we'll be able to edit it. Uh, finally, step three, we're going to add our name and postal code. So, sure. And then we're going to say where what our postal code is, just so that our MP knows that we're in their writing. So, okay, two J one one P. Okay. There we go. Let's look it over one last time. Looks good. And we click send. There we go. So we'll be we'll receive an email uh, with the contents of that email as well uh, as a copy and that our MP uh, has been sent to that email. So now if we want to see if our MP has opened the letter, we can go over to our name here at the top right because we've signed in. Uh, if you haven't signed in, there'll be a little sign in box here. Um, but you must be signed in when you send the letter in order to be able to see um, what, if your MP has opened it. So if, you, if it's a sign-in box here, you can sign in. Uh, so we're going to click on Manage Account. Wait for it to load. And here we go. Here's our letter we just sent. And so it says it's been sent. And we can see how many people have read it. Uh, he hasn't opened it. And you can see who it was to and the date. And you can see all of my old letters here as well. You can see some of them have been opened. And that's all.